So just wants to show a little video by here of the rear baffle that you will find inside the back of the Pentax 60 to 215 millimeter lens. Uh, this is the baffle here, a bit bright as you can see. Uh, the baffle itself um, comes in two parts, little bits of glue just going around the outside. And if you take them that glue away, the top and the bottom um, obviously come separated. And what you're left with, okay, is if you can just see in here now, there is this rim that if I shine through, you can see that rim there. I'll put my finger in, it's not the best using my phone, but there's this lip by here. This lip that's inside the baffle, this is what causes the vignette if you try to use the uh, 60 to 250 on a Pentax K1 at full frame. Um, so there's two options. Option one is you separate the baffle. You obviously put this back um, on the end of the lens mount and you leave this bit here out. Um, but that's how I've currently got mine at the moment. But what you end up then with is this, being able to see the gubbings of the, um, of the internals of the lens, the circuit boards, which I'm not very happy about. So I've gone on to another one. And this one by here, as you can see, is a bit shiny at the end because it should look like that. Focus. There we go. Should look like this by here. Um, but instead, what I've done is, in fact, let me put them side by side so you can see. What I've done, this lip by here that you can see is just been um, grounded out with a standard um, metal file. And so when we look through them, hopefully we can see this on this very well constructed sort of table I've rigged up here. But you can see obviously now that the diameter of this hole is much bigger than this diameter of this hole. Um, and that's because that lip has been ground out. So this is just being done now with a metal file. It's all nice and smooth. I run my finger over it. I'm not going to obviously cut myself nice and smooth. So I'll wait for this to dry out now. It's been under a tap just to get rid of any... Um, if there was like any metal shards, just go under the tap. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna wait for this to dry completely. I'm gonna paint over the shiny silver bits. Uh, and then once that's done, this bit by here is gonna go back on like so. Uh, and then it'll get reattached then, a bit of glue. And I'll get reattached then back onto the, uh, the back of the camera uh, lens. Um, and then, yeah, as you can see now, no lip. And so I'll have a nice baffle then. Um, on the back uh, we're, with no lip in there so it should then um, you know not vignette um, this came from JP technical I think it was 16 pounds 10 pence um, that obviously uh, rocked up today it takes about um, two weeks to get into stock um, you obviously get another one of these with it so you have to separate them with a Stanley knife and once you've separated with a Stanley knife off it comes ground it down put it back into place uh, and then just glue it back into place then and then this is ready to go back in um, fully modified ready to be used on a K1 um, I know obviously that you could obviously not have that and just use this bit by here and leave them bits well alone but and I've, I've read of reports about um, lack of contrast a bit of stray light so I'd rather have a baffle in there and I know you can use a bit of cardboard as well which is obviously this sort of thickness rolled up and put in there. I'm not sure I really fancy that as well. So I wanted to, you know, to basically have it stock as I could. Hence why I've now got this by here, um, ready to go, ready to be um, painted up. Um, nice matte black uh, and then re-glue back and put back in. And of course the original one is here as well. Um, so if, uh, if I wanted to sell the lens on, there's the option of either having it as a APS-C camera lens or to have it as a full frame camera lens as there's the best of both worlds. So anyway, that's the rear baffle there. That is what it looks like if you were to grind out that lip there. Um, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed, uh, job done. We are, we, we are home and dry. Anyway, thanks for watching um, and uh, speak to you soon. Cheers guys, bye.